when it comes to the penalty kill specifically, last year it was very good. At points, it was number one in the National Hockey League for month on end, over 90% success rate. There was a lot of a drop after Zach Aston Reese left the trade deadline. That's a big blow to a penalty kill unit. There's a lot of things that people can say about Zach Aston Reese, but he's one of the premier penalty killers in the National Hockey League, and that was a blow to that unit. How do you bounce back from that? How do you perform without a guy like Zach Aston Reese for a full season on that unit? It's obviously very important how good Tristan Jari is because everybody always says it. Your goaltender is your best penalty killer. It's also very important how healthy Chris Letang is because – he is your best penalty killer still. As a, is part of it, yes. Yeah, but I, I'm ex- excited to see and interested to see what happens on the forward side of that penalty kill unit. Does Kapanen get used? Is Bluger's obviously a big name there. Does Carter get used more often? What do you do with Drew O'Connor? Josh Archibald, does he get on that unit? I want to see how that penalty kill does with that Zach Aston Reese. That's going to be a huge indicator whether or not Mike Belushi has a hand on this or if he was relying on Czar, who again, one of the best penalty killers in the league. I think it could use a little change, but because without Zach Aston Reese, it took a dip. A little bit of a change in that in that lineup could benefit it. And I think Kaplan's a key piece there, like I keep saying. Because, yeah, he has the tools and the trades to become a decent penalty killer as a depth forward as well. But then he, you know he can score. Suddenly you have an extra a small a small scoring threat with a, man, with a man down. That was Teddy Bluger's, not bread and butter, but we know he's able to do uh, something like that whenever he's given his opportunities on the penalty kill mm-hmm. to become a new scoring threat at an inopportune time. Mm-hmm. Why not? I mean, I'm not saying pair him with Kapanen or pair the, those two together, but have that chance, have that extra threat whenever you may need it. Mm-hmm. Um, utilize him sometimes if you need to. I don't know. It's uh, something you'll need to change in that sort of lineup there, especially with the forwards. Like you said, we know Bluger is going to be there. We assume McGinn's going to be there. We assume everyone that's not on the on the power play mm-hmm. is going to filter into the penalty kill because that's usually how it's been. Mm-hmm.